<laughs> so we should explain uh, why you're dressed this way. Yeah, I hate to shop, uh, uh. so. <laughs> I just wear whatever outfit the character I'm playing at the time. So I was on Parenthood for six years, and Crosby had a great wardrobe. Right. But that show's been over for a year, so this is what we get. Yep. This is what I wear now. So, okay, so this is really exciting. Thank I, you. I can't wait to see the movie. So you have written, you're directing, and you're starring in Chips. He's remaking, yep. the, he's making the movie Chips. Who else is in it? Oh, Michael Pena, uh -huh. who wanted me to tell you that there's no softer underwear on the planet than the ones you gave him. The Ellen underwear? I swear to God, this was like, he came into my trailer like, oh, you're doing Ellen. Tell her how soft the underwear are and how do I get more? Yeah, well. So he, message delivered. You can buy them at the Ellen shop. That's Oh, how okay, about. great. And you got some. I'm sure we gave you some. Since, oh, couldn't be softer. Since you're But again, I hate to shop. So yes, I'm in the okay. Ellen underwear. I'm in whatever costume they give me. So it, well, it looks very good on you. And I feel like a village person. You do? Yeah, which is always something I wanted to experience. Yeah, no, you look really good in it. Is you that, think so? It's I, very tailored. I do. They're kind of like stretch fabric pants, so they're comfortable. You want to try them on? I do. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. I'll leave them behind. I like the... Um... And I'll hop into those. Okay. A little switcheroo. No, and does Kristen like this uh, this outfit? I think Kristen stopped seeing me as a sexual being a few years ago. But um, <laughs> sometimes she'll see someone looking at me and go, oh, that's a weird look on there. Oh, yes, he looks attractive. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. That's she's, of course you are. No, she thinks I look um, studly. Yeah, so she's in the movie as well, right? She is in the movie, and um, she's an obvious choice. She's a great actor, and she's also very affordable since I'm directing it. Um, <laughs> But I was nervous because she has to play very unlikable. And I started telling her, like, I'm not positive I want to hire you because you're just so intrinsically likable. Yes. And then she got offended that I thought she was a bad actress. <laughs> so then I had to tell her she was very unlikable. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that was a disaster. So no matter really what, you know, it just didn't work out well. So she's in the movie, basically. <laughs> I just said, OK, you're hired. And let's stop talking about this. Right. I'll and see you on set. It, it is going to be hard for her to be unlikable because she is adorable and very likable. She's so likable. Yeah. Even when she, she's terrible, you really still like her. Yeah. You know, it's one of her, yeah. one of her gifts. That's, and, and so the kids are how old now? Uh, two and a half and one. In fact, there's a birthday coming in five days. Yes. And, and um, you know, it's the holiday season coming up. And um, it's, it's weird for me because my mother was just painfully honest with us. No matter what, the, she just told us the truth. And then, look, I'm on Ellen, so it worked. And so I've been just being very 100% honest with uh, Lincoln. And in fact, the other day we were playing, and I said, OK, I got to go. Um, she said, why? And I said, well, I got to go to my AA meeting. And she goes, why? And I go, because I'm an alcoholic. And she said, I'm going to be alcoholic, too. I'm coming. Because <laughs> she just wanted to come. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, you probably will be in 15 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just enjoy this time before you have to go. <laughs> That's adorable. But now it's Christmas, and I have to explain Santa Claus. It's a very weird thing to explain if you've been telling, you know, just the truth truth. What do you tell them? I said, there's going to be a guy stopping by on Christmas Eve <laughs> in a red jumpsuit with combat boots, uh, huge Grizzly Adams beard. He goes by Christopher Kringle or St. Nick. He's got a lot of aliases, uh -huh. I said. <laughs> And uh, he's going to be, she's going to show up riding a team of endangered animals. Uh -huh. uh, he's going to park him on the roof. Then he's going to rappel in. He's going to root around the area for a while, uh, eat some cookies and whatnot. Don't worry, he's not diabetic. He looks like it, but he's, he's it's OK. That's gonna... And then, if you come out, you may find him getting handsy with mom under a mistletoe. Uh so she's very excited. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she said, is he married? And I said, you know, he's married, but he travels a lot. <laughs> so I don't know what his real arrangement is. He hangs out with a lot of children. But uh -huh. I guess they're like, they're his employees, which is also. <laughs> so she, she's excited. She yeah. Thinks it's, <laughs> she can't wait to meet yeah. this. That's, uh, Felon. Well, that was taken at the Met Ball, which is a very fancy big party in New York that Kristen had tried to get me to go to for years, and I didn't want to, because as you can see, I have to wear a tuxedo. And I'd way rather wear a cop outfit everywhere. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but she, this year, she said, I think you're going to want to come because we're, we're seated at Jay-Z's table. Mm. And I love Jay-Z. <laughs> I think he's like one of the true pure geniuses among us, right? I agree, I agree. So I said, I will be there for sure. 
and I went and I was seated directly next to Jay Z, and um, I gave him my A game. Like any, <laughs> I talked his ear off. I knew all of his lyrics. I was sparkly. I was engaging. Eye contact, present. Could care less. <laughs> Guarantee if he saw me right now, he'd have no clue he ever sat next to me at dinner. <laughs> Was not impressed. Aww. There were other people at the table that would have loved to be friends with me. But you didn't care. He about... was like the hot girl in high school, and he played it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still in love with him. He didn't give me any, any, any approval. Good, good work, Jay Z. Yeah. I'll go to a thousand more Met balls. Just to get Just him. To, yeah, I'll get him. Yeah, you'll I'll get, get him. You'll get him someday. Yeah. Him, I'll, him, I'll, and, I might pop out somewhere. And Brad Pitt. You're still after him. I still love Brad Pitt like yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 If I could go like camping with two dudes. They would bed them. <laughs> <laughs> like if Jay Z could rap while I stared at Brad Pitt, uh, it would be like. <laughs> and if he were like just you know, free-flowing about me looking at Brad Pitt. I think you just gave him his next song. I think yes. that, that's fantastic. It's called Stay Away From Dax Shepard. Oh, God. Speaking of Brad Pitt, what? everyone's getting presents. Yeah. Bring him out. He's not Bring here. him out in an, out, in an elf he, outfit. He's not here. Come on, Brad, get out here. Believe me. <laughs> put me in a Santa outfit, put him in an elf costume. Oh. Just get him right here and let's, let's find out what he wants for Christmas. Uh <laughs>